Hey guys, today I have a, a cigar I'm going to review. This one I've never had before or heard of that I found in my store. It's called El Galan. Uh, this is like their flagship, their main. It's just called El Galan. Uh, Robusto 5x52. On the back it says Echo Mano. Uh, well placed band. It's pretty nice, the band. It's got uh, like a little tobacco farm and some tobacco fields. Uh, green with some gold stuff on the edge. It's embossed. It's nice quality. This tobacco smells very, very nice. It has a League Ecuador wrapper. It is, uh, it's Nicaraguan. It's a League Ecuador wrapper. Uh, the binder is Nicaraguan and the filler is Dominican. It's got a triple cap. It's got a very loose straw. It's advertised as medium to full body, but uh, some people say it starts off real mild and uh, slightly sweet, but they say that it's really, really smooth throughout, but uh, we'll give it a shot. I also got the, the Maduro version of this. The, the owner of the store said it's been selling like crazy, and it cost around, well, six fifty. I give or take for the Robusto size. I try to toast it nice and slowly. There's a little bit of wind though. Good amount of smoke, tiny bit of pepper immediately. Big pepper kick right here. Uh, it is very smooth. I'll show you guys the bandit. So far it's very very smooth but uh you get right away some pepper. A good smoke output. Not too much. It's not thick either, but uh it's not bad. It's got a very loose straw. It's got a really nice milk chocolate color wrapper. It does have a bit of sweetness, like uh, like they said it did. It looks very well made. It's got some tooth, but uh, real real smooth, uniform wrapper, no gaps. It's got some veins that stick out, but uh, nothing major. Looks like a top-notch craftsmanship. there the smoke thickened a lot as you guys can see it really thickened here I'm getting like a slightly sweet nutty flavor with some pepper black pepper medium body maybe medium to full finish is pretty long. 
the pepper gets a little bit stronger when the smoke leaves. It intensifies a bit and then it dies. But I feel the pepper on my tongue. It's not Don Pepin pepper. It's not a crazy, crazy amount. But there's definitely pepper. Great smoke output. You guys know I love thick smoke. And it is very smooth. Surprisingly smooth for, uh, you know, not so well known company. I think this is a newer company because they don't have too many cigars. I know they have this and they have a Maduro, that's all I know. And I looked at their website and it's uh, real sparse, it doesn't have that much stuff. But uh, it's a nice website. So far, it's a good cigar. I like the gauge. I like that it's a little thicker than 50. I got a dry, toasty, nutty flavor. Tiny bit of sweetness. It's dying off, but I, there's definitely a little bit of sweetness there. I'm still getting the pepper. And uh, it's still medium body. It's a little bit oily too, leave some oil. Tiny a little bit of, like a little oil slick in the mouth. And the finish is pretty long. I'm still get I still got the pepper in there. It's got a Dominican filler, League Ecuadorian wrapper, and a Nicaraguan binder. So it's a tri-national, but it's made in Nicaragua. And uh, they claim, like most do, that it's a Cuban seed. And it says there in the bottom, Semilla Cubana, Cuban seed. Great smoke output. And they said there that their family history uh, originated in Cuba. I also have some really special stuff coming up. I got my hands on some uh, special cigars. I think you guys could guess what they are. And I'll be reviewing them, but not anytime soon because I really want to age them. Because I don't know when, when's the next time I could get any. I got them as a surprise, as gifts. In the same week, I got two from two different people for as gifts. And uh, I consider myself very lucky to have them. If you smoke cigars, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I'll definitely be reviewing them. But yeah, I'm gonna take an, an, I'm gonna plan ahead. You know, I wanna enjoy them. Let me get like a nice drink and uh, show you guys to so see if they're worth the hype and the, the really high price tag that they have. I'll let you guys know what I think if they're if, you know if they're worth it. If they're really all that. It's giving off a lot more smoke. The nuttiness is getting stronger. Kind of like an almond almond flavor, like a roasted almond. The sweetness by now is gone. It's just like a dry nutty flavor. The peppers died down a bit, which I kind of like. Because, uh, well, the nuttiness goes good with the pepper. But uh, there's some other flavors that I prefer pepper to be coupled with. But uh, it's pretty good with the nuttiness. But that's about it. That's about all I'm getting. Um, obviously a very nice aged tobacco flavor. I mean, that should be the staple of any cigar. That should be the backbone. This has it. This has a nice tobacco flavor. Aged, aged tobacco. I think the smoothness is coming from the, uh, the Dominican filler. It's a nice dark color, the filler. So pretty much the same color as the wrapper. I mean as the, uh, yeah, as the wrapper. Nice dark color. The packing is pretty, pretty, uh, it's got a pretty thick packaging too. It's not real loose. It's not real, it's a little bit, it gives a bit. It's got a good draw, you can tell right away. Yeah, the, the band point, it, it, uh, it's got some nice, uh, 
it gives a bit. It's a bit squishy there, which is good. It means it has a good draw, nice loose draw. That's how you tell when you pick up a cigar and you want to know if the draw is good or if it's ready. You go with your thumb and you lightly press on the band point here, around in this part. And uh, you go over there, you see if it gives a little bit, it's just about right, it's got a good draw. If it's real hard here, either it has a knot, it's too dry, or it has a very tight draw, or all three. But usually when they're softer here, they have a, a nice draw. Real pleasant so far, real nice, surprisingly good. Just this early, I can see why it's been selling a lot. If it stays this good, it's a it's a good cigar. Show you guys the burn. Ten minutes in, eleven minutes, but it took me about a minute to start up the video and uh, light it. It's got a real nice burn. No crazy fluctuations, no crazy waves and stuff like that. It's not the the flame isn't dying off. Pretty good performance so far. Okay, now immediately the pepper just quadrupled. Pepper bomb. It had died off and it snuck up on me now. The pepper came back with a vengeance. Huge pepper right there. Overpowered everything, the nuttiness, everything. Just pepper bomb right there. I still have it there. It's still lingering. So I'll tell you guys ahead of time. If you guys don't like pepper, be aware this does have some. There, it died off a bit, but you know the, the the draw before just explosion of pepper. So probably last 45 minutes, maybe an hour. But um, I don't think I'll smoke it to the nub. You know, not that much. Probably a little bit past the band point, as I usually do. Probably 45. Judging by how fast it's uh, it's burning, it's about an inch already in 12 minutes. So it'll probably be done at, uh, at around 45 minutes. You guys can see the band was put on real nicely. They aligned it. But I think the, the glue seeped through because it's not budging. Oh well, it's not a big deal. Anyway, the pepper's coming back. It's fluctuating in strength, but... The pepper came back a lot right now again. Anyway, I'll do a part two. I'll let you guys know. Alright guys, till next time.